Hey, orange one here. So we are back fighting the Sari, and we have gotten them kind of cornered. They have like a pretty big army. They have honestly been a real thorn in my side. Like on the over map, I haven't seen much change as far as I can tell. Um, but things are changing. I mean, we are winning. I, when you look at the count of how many troops we have to how many they have, we definitely are winning. Archers! Forward! Infantry! Footmen! Move! Cavalry! Follow! Mount! Follow so I think me! that we're going to be okay. But it's definitely one of those things where it's like... It, <laughs> it's taken a long time for us to wear them down. Let's just say that, you know? That's one way to, to look at it. Um, why don't we actually come over here? I kind of like the look of this hill a little bit more. It's got a nice, like, view in front of it for hitting them as they approach. And I feel like, are they going to approach or are they just kind of standing there? Actually, no, they're just standing there. Okay, okay. Follow me. We gotta approach them. That's fine. We've got, like, nearly twice their numbers. We just need to make sure that we... Kind of like pelt them down you know get to a point where we can arch them they haven't got a, like too much of a height advantage on us right there they do have a little bit of a height advantage but maybe we can kind of take this hill here kind of egg them on to attacking us yeah, i think we can kind of do that Yeah, they're gonna try and hit us here. But we can have our infantry like hold the line here. Infantry! Move! Archers! Get the archers though more up to like here. Archers! And then our cavalry will will try and not just stand there. <laughs> We'll be able to get them. Like, they only have 35 archers compared to our 67. Like, honestly, we're gonna start chewing through them soon. And get our archers to position. Yeah, like, look, we just got some of them there. Okay, we're getting some kills. We're getting some kills. Okay. We'll just kind of come over here with our, our cab, make him a little uncomfortable, you know? Yep, now they're, they're charging them, kind of. Yeah, this is, this is where things get interesting. Yeah, footman, you can charge in. Cavalry, you also charge in. Arches though they they kind of like are on a nice little embankment, so I'm gonna keep them there. Oh jeez, come on! I I just totally messed that up. I like had a good opportunity to take out multiple archers there. Okay, we got one of them. I don't think it was the one I was really aiming for, but you know that's beside the point. Okay, it's just uh, a little laggy there for a second. Oh jeez. See what we can do against these boys. Ooh, Palantine guards. These, they got some good units here. Let's see what we can hit. Oh. <laughs> oh no. I think. Um. Our charge might not be being as effective now as it was earlier, but we still are winning vastly. If you look at the kill count. Oh, but I'm dead. <laughs> it's fine though. Try this. Oh man. Okay, maybe they might actually stand a chance here because they are killing a lot of us. Oh my goodness. Come on, guys. There we go. Let's get get it together. 
They actually have killed nearly as many as we've killed, but we have killed more than they have, and we have a lot more in reserve. So yeah, I actually don't mind coming down because this is going to be a long battle otherwise. <laughs> Goodness, there we go. See, we still are fielding 800 something. They're 20. Eh, they killed, they killed a good number of us, but... When you crush an army like that, it probably is going to affect the war. <laughs> Let's just say that. I did lose a lot of my units myself there, though, it looks like. Because we did build up ourselves a decent amount of force. I think that that is more effective than just running around solo. I think it's good to try and recruit them, but I think you need, like, a good personal guard. Essentially, you know, like a good amount of, like, fast units to travel around with you. Oh, come on, we can... this takes so long. But I'm, I'm glad that we've gotten to this point. We definitely are crushing it. Maybe I need to not take so many prisoners, because I don't think that we're right by a city or anything. It might be. I just have honestly forgotten. I kind of don't want to deal with it either. Okay, we gotta get rid of a few more. Is that it? One more? Okay. We're good. See you guys. I don't care about a thousand denars. Are you kidding me? Look at how much we're rolling in right now. We're good. We're fine. Um, we got 800 something strong. Let's go after the king's uh, holdings. I think that's what I was trying to do. I was trying to gather an army and then go after his stuff. Do you guys have grain or did I already buy it all from you? I did not. I'll take all that. Thank you. Any grain that my other lords haven't picked up is, is definitely going to be taken by me. <laughs> Um, yeah, if we try and go after the king's stuff, if we make him weak, that really is gonna hurt the whole kingdom. They actually took one of my cities, now that I think about it, um, so it's kind of like justice, I think. Oh, Halgard, he's he's someone that I want to recruit. Can I actually, hold on, just take a second and just thin things out just a little bit. Anyone with, like, not very many units, you can kind of head off and fight anyone that you deem fit. To fight or you could kind of stay nearby um that's also fine i guess I need to back off yo <laughs> okay we could just actually just siege i think we need to just siege this place yep it's the kings sir the lord uh oh nope if we get this place and then we keep on kind of pushing down to the Asari land. I think that'll be really, really useful. This isn't really like Asari land. I think it's actually something we took from the people here originally for them. <laughs> it's kind of funny that we're coming back here to siege. What he now is like has been his for like, honestly, a very long in game time. I think it's like been like in game, like a decade or so. Uh, let's see. We want to make sure that cohesion stays up. That could drain pretty fast, actually. I think we need to thin out our herd a little bit more. What else is kind of hurt? 157, right? Why don't we get rid of you? And you. And that's still more than enough, in my opinion. And they can kind of harass a little bit, which is good. And like going after caravans and whatnot. Down for some economic disruption at least and i think that that's also kind of an interesting mechanic that i think people will come to realize with this game is there's a lot of emergent stuff where like because we're taking this and this is kind of like their their port to the the south like if we take this it's going to really hurt their ability to um do trade through here and just by doing this what we're doing right now like it's going to hurt their ability to do trade Okay, hey, our influence seems to be holding up pretty nicely, actually. 
People seem to be happy with us. They're in the army. I think we'll definitely be able to take this place, especially considering the number advantage that we have. They actually don't even have that many people in here. Oh, I guess I could make peace with the Northern Empire. No. I'm not doing that. Okay. <laughs> nice armor, Prindor. <laughs> oh, man. The texture's right. You just gotta... You gotta embrace it. Part of the game. Bugs. It's in the game. <laughs> right. We do actually have, like, a few hundred people just kind of, like, camped out outside here. Okay. Let's get these trebuchets up. And just to make sure that we look extra scary for those that are trying to take us out. We'll do something like that. Oh no, does it make you have like faster like healing or anything if you have more of the prisoners be your troops or anything? Is there any real benefit to that? I feel like there isn't, but there should be. Okay, whatever. That's fine, Sergia. <laughs> I think that it's just some dude at this point. They can declare war on me. They can do whatever they want. I think now that we cleared out that 800 something stack that was local to here, we've got a nice opportunity to take the city once it's taken. Yeah. Things are going to be doing a lot better. They actually are producing a lot of siege equipment right now. Hard for the, even with four trebuchets to keep that suppressed. But we got it. Uh, take this down a little bit more. Take those walls, the health down. Oh look, we uh, we took a castle. It looks like, or uh, not a castle, or uh, not a city, but just a castle. I figured we can hurt these walls just a little bit more. Endure, go ahead. He's been loyal to us from the beginning. Honestly, this dude. Wasn't a sorry, but uh, what's this? Western Empire? No. Yeah, he's he's my homie. He's also kind of a little bit of a warmonger, seeing how he's been down with us from the beginning. I think that we've essentially been in a continual state of war since the the kingdom was founded. I don't think we've really stopped. I've just been kind of like. Trying to find a way to start the next one at all times. <laughs> okay, um, yeah, I think that we should try and take this now. Let's go for it. Their, their walls are hurt. They're not completely taken out. I mean, if we take out the walls, actually, we'll lose, like, almost nobody, and then we can go to the next city super easy. That's, that's just... Sorry, I know I said I was gonna do it. But I think we'll wait just a little bit longer. Oh look, engineering got to 150. Oh cool. That's a really good perk for us. I didn't know that we could level that up further. I think I might have invested in like that a long time ago. Yeah, the walls are pretty much done. Like, look at them. We can knock these down and then we can just like walk into the city. Yep, let's do it. We got three times their number. So long for his crown jewel up north, right? Or that's what I like to think. This is like Spain, right? <laughs> okay, got a lot of archers up there. Actually doing quite a bit of damage to our guys. Oh my gosh. You guys, put your shields up. What are you doing? That's frustrating. To do infantry without their shields. Or any cover or sense of using cover. And then take them out. And we go. Yeah, I can I can at least clear out and make this side a little bit safer so they're not just getting Massacred by these dudes on the wall, which I think is what essentially happens. Or what they're trying to have happen. 
with positioning them there. They don't really seem to be doing the best job, but I think it's in large part because of myself and other archers kind of taking them out. They don't have much cover, it's their, their problem. Just due to us, like, destroying walls. <laughs> You can see we're killing more of them than they are of us, and the siege is, we're still like in the thick of it. Yeah, it's even, even with my good computer, again, some issues with frames. There's a lot of them. Yeah, there's a whole lot of them actually. But we are uh, just more of us. More blue than yellow. <laughs> I mean, they are getting a good amount of kills, honestly. They are. But where are they? I think they must be over here near the other entrance because I wasn't over there. <laughs> I'm telling myself, yeah, they're all right here. Look at them. Alright. I'm gonna go around here. See if I can get around the back. See if the AI actually thought like a person. That's what they would do. Well, I mean, by the time I get here, they've actually. Oh, they got veteran borrowed troops. That's funny. Is that someone that I donated here? I feel like that's someone I might have donated here. That's crazy. Full circle, huh? Imagine that guy's life. <laughs> hey. Okay, is that it? Yay! He like becomes a guardsman. He's like, I want to volunteer for the army, and then he's like, okay, all right, join up with him. And then this dude's like, all right, you're actually gonna now be in this gar garrison. This he's like, okay, cool. My new job. I live here, defend here against like some raids, maybe. I don't think it ever fell once after I, I gave it to the king. And then I just come back one day. After taking over like more than half the map. And he gets killed. I mean, at the end of the siege. Crazy. Unless, I, I, maybe, do NPCs take quests like that and do they do them? Because I know that they there's like economies and they do economies and stuff, but I don't know if they take quests from each other and do quests and like, I don't think that they do. But maybe I'm wrong. I could be wrong. I don't really know. Uh, let's have a look-see at our, our little fabulous army here. Let's get rid of you. And anyone else? Maybe Ekerund. Yeah get rid of a couple people. They can replenish wherever they want. But we can just kind of chill here, I think, for a little bit. I'll just kind of see owner of... Yep, let's see who I'm going to give it to. Oh, wow. Uh, no, that's not the thing that I thought it was. I was, like, very confused. Yep, give that to Ingather. He's also been with us for a while. Good times, right? Oh man, I've been like back at work, and I'm I've been needing this. <laughs> Let's just say that <laughs> an escape and feeling like I've got some power in any situation. <laughs> oh man, now we've got like all the power. Okay, let's see, what do we want to do with said power? It's, I think we just need to maintain. And now that this has been given to someone, we could probably just make sure it's got garrison like 400-ish or something. And then head out. How many do you have now? Just 100? Gotta wait here a little longer. Um, we're sharing food with the army, so that means there's no food in the village. They're, they're just selling some food. That's great. Okay, so, so Son probably bought that food from the market, which is also a... Oh, man, I just love it. 
I love how you can have lords buying things and you just have them in your army. They're like selling their weapons and buying like goods that they're gonna need. You know, it's just it's good stuff. It really is. They did a nice job with it. Okay, they donated some more troops. How many do they have now? 167, that's pretty good, but still not quite happy with it. I think that we need to just make sure, especially seeing how that wall still is busted open, you need to make sure that they're a little bit more set up. And look, there's all this food that's being dropped off here and sold, and fruits that are being bought. Great, it's good times. Um, how many do they have now? 200-ish, that's pretty good. That's, that's actually pretty good. I think that that could defend itself against like an army of 600-ish or so, which is probably what they'd be facing against, but at the same time, I don't want to be like, overly confident and then regret it later. Yeah, look at this. We've got this mostly taken care of, and I'm going to start creeping down on him down there, basically. That's, that's, my, that's my hopeful plan. Gonna try and get more troops into the settlement, but we'll see if I can get some more people and goods uh, and just kind of roll out. I think. Yeah, just silver ore. Not gonna buy that. Yeah, so you see, they're donating troops. They're this. I think they're in charge of a faction. I could maybe see about that. Yeah, that's that's looking pretty good now, and my troops are kind of. A little weakened due to that those donations. I think that we can we can probably move on now that they've got that. And any goods? Yep, cool. I'll take any food that you have, essentially. And maybe go south. Food be less. Yeah, let's see what's what's going on here, man. Just need to make sure that Ortizia doesn't get sieged. If it does get sieged, I probably will turn around and try and get back there. I'm also thinking we can trade out some of the lords that we've got with us for some people that have a little bit more troops. Because that might be what we need to do. Be effective. I think we'll, we'll hold on to them for a little bit longer. No, oh, why would we make peace with them? Um, Landians. Yeah. Okay. Uh, where are you gonna go? Can you go into this castle for me, please, buddy? Please just run into the castle, because I think I can recruit you. I'm pretty sure I could recruit you. No? Okay. Do I go for the city? I feel like I should go for the city. Oh, they've got 800 defending it, so we're going to need to <laughs> siege this down. Uh, what about... Who's, who's nearby? Yeah, uh, definitely. We'll take that. Cool. They're going to send an army over, is, is what I'm thinking. And if I'm sieging here, they won't attack the city that we just took, hopefully. I don't know if that's true. <laughs> I think that they would try and, and prevent us from double or nothing, you know? Seems like that would be in their best interest to kind of just hold us back here. And our odds of taking the city in their eyes is probably pretty slim. Just need to make sure that we don't get cornered by like an army of 15,000, you know? That's, that's my real concern. Is the map? Oh, actually, look, we just uh, we just won a battle somewhere, somewhere, somehow. Um, why don't we have a look at the kingdom strengths? Because I think that that would be a good little update for you all to see how we are doing versus they are doing. I think we have definitively crushed them with taking that city up there, and if we take out Lord's other cities, it's gonna. And yeah, the power balance has just really shifted. I think we've taken about 10k from them very recently. 
So we just keep on kind of rolling through here. I don't think they're going to be able to really stop us. Not with the other armies that are around. Applying pressure in other places. You know? Like, that's really the thing, is, like, when you get to such a different size, you can't really do too much. Um, and is there anybody... Yeah, sure, Mina. Come on over. Join the party. And reserve. Yeah, they've got a good amount right there, honestly. They're definitely waiting for more to arrive. But I've got more coming, too. That's the thing. And we could honestly just try and go and take the city quickly right now. Um, we do have a very big cohesion cost right now. Can I maybe... Is there anyone who's really small? Maybe Milos? Yeah, you can go and... Baranor. There you, go. you guys can kind of hang out slash attack whoever you want to attack. Uh, they're trying to attack me right now. Seriously? Okay. Um... They do. This is going to be maybe a little bit long. I don't know. I think we should probably include it, though, don't you? In this episode. We'll take the actual city in the next one, because we'll probably not have the numbers to take the actual city after this. We might. I don't know, though. It's it's a uh, definitely going to be intriguing. See how this plays out. Yeah, we can probably attack the city right now. But we'll just kind of wait it out. Uh, the, yeah, we just took another place, it looks like. Yalmaris. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> okay, so... I'm pretty sure we still have the number advantage here. Even... I think they're just kind of desperate. They're just trying to desperately hold us off for that from taking their, like, Constantinople or whatever. I'm gonna think of it as. Uh, yeah, here we go. Eh, okay. Fair enough. Fair enough, my friend. But we got the numbers. We got the numbers on this. Yeah, I think we'll just lump this in because I wanted to hopefully get this in, in under 100 episodes. I don't think we're going to be able to, but let's try. Fall over! Yeah, everyone come up here. They're charging us, so let them come to us. This is a Archer! cool map. I like this map. Forward! This is like perfect. Forward! Like literally perfect for what I want to do hang out up here, have them charge to us, and then we'll just kind of pick them off. Use our cav to just harass. And yeah, good times will be had. By good times, I mean a good KD ratio. Because <laughs> that's the best of times, right? For us, at least. Um, okay. Like the tale of two cities, right? The best of times and the worst of times. It just really depends on who you are. Okay, let's see what we can do against these yahoos. This rednecks, essentially. <laughs> okay. I say because we are a much more disciplined force than they are. Okay. Yeah, we, we definitely have much higher experience. Okay, that dude's dead. So I can, oh, ow. Oh. Did I just kill my own guy there? I think I might kill my own guy there. 
There we go, that guy's not one of my own guys. Uh, hold on, what's the deal now? Let him get in there. I think Arch is maybe getting attacked right now. Maybe not, they might have been just about to be attacked. Yeah, actually, it looks like they're totally being attacked. Good thing I put the infantry in when I did. Yep, everyone just get in there. Oh, Buzzball threw me off. That's my excuse, at least. Oh. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to hit him reliably. <laughs> Oh, that's one of my guys. Okay. I should have known. Yep, these spearmen. When you get distracted by me, so my archers can kind of pick you off a little. Yes. Oh. There's a couple archers too. You gotta be careful. Oh, couple horse boys. Oh! Oh dang, that dude. Expert. I can see that. Oh! <laughs> right in the face. That was pretty good, actually. Oh man. I enjoy those shots when you get them. <laughs> like that. That was pretty good. Okay, let's see what I can do here. I think I can be more effective with the bow right now. You're not one of mine. Yeah. Let's take that guy out that way. Anyone else not mine? Yeah, you're not mine. Take that. Yeah, that's one of my dudes. Took one of them out. Cool. Cool, cool. I'm liking what I'm seeing. Or not seeing. Just them. Because that means that we've killed most of them. <laughs> they actually are killing a whole lot of us. What's going on right now? Everyone follow your sergeants! Everyone follow sergeants. I don't know how they're killing so many of us right now. They definitely are. Killing a whole bunch of us. Which is weird because should have 200 plus units more than them. But we really should be the ones destroying that and not the other way around there. Okay, we are getting some more kills now. And better ratios. Oh, is that one of mine? I think that was one of mine. Yep, this is better. I like, I like the look of what I'm seeing a lot more. Oh, you guys are camping. Just camping over here. Just, just campers. Oh, ho, ho. yeah. That's fine. It looks like we got this. We got this. Yeah, we've killed a thousand of them. They've killed. Yeah, we're fine. Well, GG. Oh, sorry. Looks like you're not going to be able to prevent us from attacking the city. Because, I mean, they did kill 700 of us, so. We're going to have to maybe wait a little bit before we actually attack the city. Especially seeing how... Yeah. Okay, yeah. To be fair, they did actually... Get quite a bit of us. They killed like... Yeah, actually no, they killed just about 400 of us. I think we're okay. I really should just start taking these guys prisoner. But... My heart... is too soft. Okay, I'm going to end this here. Thank you for joining me. This has been Orange One.